Okay, so this is the large Bendini motor that is going to charge this capacitor here. When the magnets go by the coil, the field collapses and the energy is recycled through the transistors into this capacitor. So our TIVA board is going to discharge this capacitor into this primary battery here. So an impulse function into there once there's enough inductive charge built up on the capacitor. So we are going to demonstrate this on the smaller motor and then take it to the lab. I just wanted to show you the large motor that the board is going to be used on. So there's the big Bandini motor. So in this circuit we have an LED that's representing the battery that's connected in series to the capacitor which is grounded. The other end of the LED is connected to the drain of the end channel MOSFET and the source of the MOSFET is connected to ground. The capacitor is hooked to some Zener diodes which is in turn hooked up to a TIVA board. The TIVA board is what triggers the MOSFET and turns it on. We need the TIVA board as it has a delay built in and without the delay we wouldn't be able to discharge the capacitor fully into the battery. Also the TIVA board is nice for any extra testing. So we used Energia for the code. The code is attached to this. And essentially we are reading an analog signal, converting it to a digital voltage that we can read and send out to the MOSFET to turn it on. We also have a delay there at the bottom in order to fully discharge the capacitor. Okay, so now we are in the lab with our small Bendini motor. And we're just gonna demonstrate the charging of the capacitor through the inductive field collapse when we're spinning this. So you can see that charge is now building in the capacitor. We're up to 0 0.1 volts, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Anyways, we're just demonstrating that the inductive field collapse of these magnets passing by this coil is charging this capacitor. And then we're gonna now demonstrate the discharging of the capacitor using the TIVA board circuit. Okay, so we have our TIVA board, which is gonna recognize the signal from the positive side of this little capacitor here. And then we're going to use a MOSFET to discharge the capacitor into the LED. The LED represents the battery on the Bendini motor and this small capacitor represents this big capacitor on the larger Bendini motor. So now we're just going to demonstrate the discharging of the capacitor into the load. There you go, you can see the impulse function making the LED light up. We also have this saved on the oscilloscope and we'll include this slide in the demonstration video. So we used a MOSFET with a TIVA board and Zener diodes to measure the uh, pressure of the voltage stored on the capacitor. So you just choose your Zener diode and that will be the voltage or slightly above it that it breaks down and reads and sends a signal to the TIVA board. Um, in the future we are going to try directly hooking up an SCR and Zener diode without the TIVA board and see how that works. Uh, the TIVA board was nice because it allowed us to uh, vary the time when the switch was on so it could fully discharge the capacitor and we could see how that affected uh, the discharge itself. So the TIVA board's nice, it's very low power, you can run it off battery and there's many different options. This is just one uh, option for discharging your Bendini motor capacitor and it allows you to get the more advanced model up and running.